going on, you slackers? I am your host, Slackers Gaming, coming at you again with another Yu-Gi-Oh! video. And this time, yes, I am a couple days late because um, this was, uh, it is the it is my ban list review slash uh, kind of discussion sort of thing. Um, but uh, yes, the list did get updated on September 18th, which was, I think, three days ago now. Um, but... Uh, yes, yeah, so this is a few days late. I do apologize. I've been super busy with work and other projects and stuff, but uh, I, I'm getting this out. This is going up on Friday, so I, I had to do a video, um, and I've already seen the list, but um, I kind of wanted to do, you know, give my opinions and whatnot, get a quick little rundown. So um, let's just jump right into it. Uh, let's not waste too much time because by now, most of you should probably know what's on the list. Um, th the one thing I liked is this list is already in effect, so... Uh, that that is great. So, uh, of course, the band portion of the list up first, uh, Dynamite Knight. I was I was a little um, I don't know I I, I knew they were gonna hit uh, True Dracos. Uh, I didn't really expect them to hit like the rest of the monsters. I I was uh, in the in that boat with everybody else where I figured Masterpiece was gonna get hit and Diagram was gonna get hit in some form of capacity, which ironically both of them didn't even get touched but um that that's for uh different discussion a little later but um that got banned um grand soil got banned uh okay i i can understand that because you want to i guess kind of just eliminate future combos and stuff that grand soil is actually kind of ridiculous i really like grand soil um uh, but i i totally see why grand soil got hit makes sense to me um true king lithosagem now um I figured they'd hit dinos, but not super hard, but they kind of did. Um, Lithosagem gets banned, so there goes like the potential to pop the babies in hand, you know, baby Cerasaurus and the uh, Petit Pteranodon. Um, so there goes that play. That that, that hurts. Um, what else is up next? Uh, Denglong. Uh, this one banned. Okay. I, I didn't quite, I didn't see this one going banned, but... I guess I can see why it, it can make some really stupid plays so um, I guess I'm okay with that I'm not too uh, I know I know my buddy plays dinos and that's gonna hurt him a little bit I think he's actually done with dinos now after this list because uh, dinos just got pooped on along with zoo and true Draco but that's good because we can finally move on to a brand new meta and let some other decks roam free but Danglon banned um, Digusto Emerald that was a little um, that was a little confusing to me. I, d I didn't understand why. I don't think it needed to be at all. Uh, it, it was. I think it was just fine where it was. It didn't need to be touched. Maybe there's something I'm missing. I don't know, but I don't. I really don't think Emerald needed to be hit, just because of you know we're in the link format and you got you get your link monsters out first. But I don't know. To me, Emerald didn't need to be touched. Uh, and of course, we got Broadbull and Dryden definitely need to get touched. Um, Barrage did not even get touched at all. I was a little bit surprised at that, but uh, um, I guess that moves right into the uh, the limited list, which they ended up hitting Rat Pier. So I guess um, they still get Barrage, so they can still kind of play around and Rats at one to eliminate all those stupid little combos. But um, yep, so Rat did go to one. Uh, what else did we get? Uh, what is that? Miscellaneous Source also down to one. This deck like. Was miscellaneous swords really a problem? Um, I don't, I don't think so. I I figured over raptor would have probably got limited, if anything. But I don't think that got touched either. So I was really confused about that. Um, over, uh, I'll get my opinion about the list at the very end. But um, let's see what else. Uh, Ignis heat also got uh, limited. Uh, I'm like, you, I get you wanted to do something to true Draco, but. They, like, straight up destroyed, like, just pure True Draco, and that's kind of, um, I'm, I'm okay with it, but at the same time, I'm like, did you, did you really hit the right stuff? I, I don't, I'm not too sure about that, but, well, it is what it is. Um, Dark Hole's back down to one, um, okay. I, you know, just board wipes, they want to kind of limit those, which, uh, what else did they do? They did something else. Uh, Kaiju Slumber, that also went down to one. Both of those were at, uh, Dark Hole and Slumber were both at two, so they got put down to one, which I guess I'm okay with. Yeah, I'm not too, I'm not too hurt over that. Um, I think, I think they're fine at one. They could be fine at two, 
But um, at least uh, Slumber should be at one because, you know, being able to search out kaijus and banishing it from your graveyard and all that stuff, it is, it is a little ridiculous. So um, hitting those, I don't have any problems with. And, of course, they did bring something back, which uh, my friend Bubba, very excited. Uh, Gateway of the Six is back. He's, he's, building Sam he's got Samurais already ready, and he's waiting until November so we can get that new Samurai support. And of course, since Diagram didn't get hit, he can do like that, uh, the Fuma, uh, the new, uh, Samurai, what is it, I don't know the whole name, but Fuma is one of the new ones, I think it's like a level one tuner, and you can pop it with Diagram, and then you get a bunch of searches, and it's a crazy stuff can happen with that, so, it is cool to see Gateway back at one, and I do believe it will be fine at one, it, like, you can, there's still a ton of board removal, you can pop that so easily, so I if this coming back to one is I think it's a little overdue. So I'm totally fine with Gateway at one, even though I the combos that you can make with it are pretty stupid. But I think it being at one is totally fine. Um, and the last thing, True King's Return also went to one. This one didn't make sense to me because they banned Dynamite. I mean, Dynamite basically it's going to search out True King's Return, right? So ban that, but then you also have to limit Return. Uh, that one's making me scratch my head a little bit. I didn't under, didn't totally understand that one, but oh well. Um, now on to the semi limited uh, BLS. I figured that one was going up. I had that on my list. Um, see what it does it to, and if it's not really causing too much havoc, bump it up to three on the next list. Uh, that's totally fine. Got Luster Pendulum, the Draco Slayer. Fine with that going up. Mathematician. That can probably go to three as well. Um, what else we got here? Brionic and Librarian. Brionic's nowhere near as good as it used to be before it's errata. So that, that'll that probably end up going to 3. I won't be surprised. Uh, what else we got? Brain Control. Not nearly as good. Same reason as Brionic. That'll probably go to 3 eventually. Uh, Burial. That was, that was a good choice. I kind of like that. Um, I'm interested to see if this uh, if Burial going from 1 to 2 helps out any sort of decks. Um, and becomes like a pretty like uh, meta relevant card again. I, I kind of hope it is. I always like burial from a different dimension, so um, I'm, I'm I'm a little interested to see where uh, like decks can uh, or how decks can utilize that card and see if it becomes a pretty good card again. I mean, it already is a good card, but become even better now with um, all the new archetypes and cards that have been out. But uh, I'm interested to see how that goes. Um, El Shadow Fusion. It doesn't do anything. Uh, I mean, Construct is still banned, so maybe maybe this is like a really slow way to bring back uh, Shadows, I guess. But, I mean, maybe Nexless Construct comes back because if El Shadow Fusion to 2. Uh, okay, cool. That's still not going to bring the deck back into relevancy at all, so maybe it's a really slow, slow resurrection. We'll see. I don't know. And then, of course, the last one was Preparation of Rights, which I had on my list as well. That's fine. If uh, um, They could probably bring that to three, and if Rituals become a problem, like I said in my ban list prediction video, uh, you got to end up hitting Pre-Preparation of Rights, because that's just a straight-up plus one, and that's ridiculous, but it, I love it being a Ritual player. And then, of course, we got the uh, Unlimited, Debris Dragon, Honest, Rescue Cat, and Rabbit, Summoner Monk, Witch of the Black Forest, Charger Light Brigade, Dragon Ravine, and Wavering Eyes. Um, I have no problem with any of these, to be honest. Um, uh, Debris Dragon's fine. Honest, um, I'm curious to see how that goes because Trick Stars don't really use that. Uh, we'll see if uh, like Light Sworn or Twilight Sworn can somehow use that, or I don't know. There'll be some light uh, light archetype that will that could probably use this, but we'll have to see going forward. Both the uh, rescues, the cat and the rabbit, are at three, which is fine. That's, nah, it's, yeah, totally fine. No complaints here. Summoner Monk, um, that's fine too. Uh, it wasn't really hurting anybody. It wasn't doing anything at two anyway. So, yeah, let it go. Witch of the Black Forest, um, psh, does anybody even use this? Yeah, I don't think so. So that's at three. Charge, I do like that. It's helping out the, the Light Sworn, Twilight Sworn uh, decks. Um, give him a little more fuel, totally fine with that. And if it becomes a problem, hit it again, we'll see. But going to three, totally fine. Dragon Ravine, for us, um, I think it's overdue. It should have been at three quite a while ago, but um, it's here finally, so awesome. And then Wavering Eyes, 
uh, and just continue to uh, get the, some of that pendulum stuff off of the ban list. Um, I'm fine with it because, you know, pendulums got a the boot right in the stomach. It was like once Lynx came out. So bringing back pendulum stuff, I don't have any problem with it because um, they could s probably, pendulums in general could still kind of work, but they're not going to be as near nearly as powerful as they were. So yeah, Waver and to three as well. That is totally fine. So now I want to quickly go over like a little discussion, like my or at least uh, first my opinion on the overall list. For the most part, I kind of like it because they did a lot of stuff, and uh, yeah, they killed a lot of the top decks uh, like Zoo and True Draco and Dinosaur. I don't know if they needed to kill dinosaurs. Uh, it was pr probably that was a little bit overkill. I don't think they quite needed that, but. Um, so they had that uh, zoo about time, like I said, true Draco. A um, little iffy if they hit the right stuff. Uh, we'll see. But I am interested to see how people can start using Masterpiece now. Because you can kind of throw them in there as like a uh, just a random boss monster in the deck. Like you, uh, you could drop it on your opponent, like just playing something completely random. And it could throw your opponent's whole... I mean, well, it is masterpiece, but you could it could throw your whole opponent's whole turn up, turn off, and you don't know. I don't know. I I'm still I still kind of like that masterpiece is at three, but I do acknowledge that it should be hit in some capacity. Uh, maybe next list we'll see, but um, yeah. So I'm. Just, uh, yeah. So they're killing stuff, but they're allowing some things to live, which I do like. Um, so of course that opens it up to all like the the link archetypes, you know. Um, what is the new one right now? Uh, World Chalice. That's what I'm thinking of. World Chalice, uh, Trick Stars, other stuff that are coming out. Uh, my me personally, I'm going to be playing. Um, what are those called? Spirals. I finally got the whole deck complete. Now I just got to wait for uh, Double Helix to come out in the, uh, with that next month actually. So that'll be pretty sick. I can't wait to get those. Uh, let Spirals kind of have their course. Let, let them have their fun. I know they got that stupid plus 12 combo, but that's... who cares? Let, let them have fun for a little while. They're TCG exclusive. I think still exclusive for now. I don't know if the OCG's getting it yet. I don't really know, but let them have fun. I mean, it, right now the door is wide open. Anything could be topping. Anything could be like the next best deck. Um, Trick Stars, uh, World Chalice, Mermails, um, the Spirals, uh, Cosmos. I know those are getting uh, a lot of uh, attention right now. So Cosmos, look out for that. Uh, there's just so many different uh, like archetypes, so many different decks that you have to keep an eye out for. There's not like just one or two that you have to really side heavy for. If you're gonna side, you really have to kind of expect. And hopefully you get lucky in what you're going to face. Um, like if you're going to regionals and stuff, because uh, you're going to face an assortment of all just different decks in general, which I love. I love it when uh, you get a fresh ban list and you kind of kill off everything that was big beforehand. And now you just say, all right, everybody go at it see what works see what's the best deck fight it out that's what I, I that's what I love about bandless like this so I'm I'm personally happy right now <laughs> and I, I kinda I can't wait um, uh, I don't know if I'm gonna I can't make it to locals this weekend but next weekend I'm probably going back out um, gotta be playing I want I'm definitely curious to see what a lot of people locals will be playing so that yeah, I'm looking forward to this so the band list is finally out I'm happy um, I think for the most part they did pretty good. There's a couple iffy hits and maybe a couple iffy misses, if you uh, if you ask me. But um, overall, I'm I'm satisfied with the list. So um, yeah, let me know down in the comments. What do you guys think? Was the list pretty good? Did you like it? Um, obviously, bring back Stratos. You know, should it hit diagram? Should it hit masterpiece? Blah blah blah. All that stuff. But um, is there anything that was actually a problem besides? The obvious stuff. Um, I know Max C was a, a thing for a while. Um, should that have been hit? Should that have been back up to three? I don't know. What are your opinions on the list? Let me know down in the comments. And uh, yep, so that's pretty much gonna be it for this video right here. Just kind of getting out a quick little band list video and um, my thoughts in a uh, little kind of I don't know. Can you call this a discussion? I guess kind of because I. I don't know, whatever. Anyway, this video is done and uh, we will be catching you guys on the next one.
Peace out.